Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, guys, uh, Voynich, the Voynich manuscript, of course, from the 15th century. After doing carbon dating on this ancient book that was handwritten, the Voynich manuscript is dated back to around 1404 to 1434. Handwritten, nobody could decode it. It stayed in a Catholic uh, church uh, in Rome for about three or four hundred years. It finally wound up in the hands of Yale University. Even during World War II, some of the greatest decoders and people who can read ancient uh, texts and encrypted codes, nobody could break it. Well, they handed it, they put a AI on it to read, to see if an AI technology could de decode it. And it couldn't either until they uh, implemented into the AI, look at it from an Hebrew alphabet, look at it from the Hebrew language, and it decoded it finally. Now what's happened is artificial intelligence has allowed scientists to make significant progress in cracking a mysterious ancient text known as the Voynich Manuscripts. Uh, this has eluded scholars for centuries. And of course, the Voynich Manuscript is a handwritten text. It is an unknown script accompanied by pictures of plants, astronomical observations, and other pictures. And now since its discovery in the 19th century, many historians and uh, those who try to decode Secret codes have attempted to unravel this meaning, but they could never break the code. The AI has done it. But even though the AI did, they found out that this manuscript is written in ancient Hebrew texts, ancient Arabic, and some Latin symbols. It is a code. They now have broken the code, but it's going to require... Uh, Hebrew uh, uh, scholars, rabbinical scholars, are going to have to help explain what some of these meanings are and phrases are. So now it's time to unravel the mysteries of this manuscript, and it may be filled with prophecy. Now, I want to be very clear. The AI is not prophesying. The AI technology with its algorithms has been able to break the code. But it's still going to take time for rabbinical scholars to tell us what the code is trying to say. The interpretation thereof, the understanding of it, that's going to take time. Now, if you remember the Copper Scroll, which, of course, uh, I've got a, a, a powerful DVD out right now called The Secret of the Sacred Incense. They, to find the caves where the incense was, they had to go, they, first of all, they didn't find the Copper Scrolls until 1952 over in the Dead Sea Scroll area, okay, and, and, the, and the Qumran. But once they found the Copper Scroll, it took 11 years, well, actually from 1952 till 1968, till they finally broke this code, and uh, it became a map, some type of a map describing which, what kind of type of cave to look for, what would be in the cave, which would include the sacred incense or the, um, that was used in the days of the temple where the incense would be put on the golden altar and the prayers would go up before God. But what does this manuscript hold? Since it is written in ancient Hebrew texts and Arabic and Latin, what was the author of this text trying to say? Is it filled with end-time prophecies? Well, we don't know yet. And until we can unravel it, we'll have to wait and find out. Anyway, those things, if you remember, there would be great, the 18 things the Lord <clears throat> revealed to watch for this year, 18 things to watch for in 2018, one of them was this. Number four, something incredible will be discovered or found. In this case, 
this manuscript has been in the hands of uh, the Catholic uh, churches. Now it's in the possession of the scholars at Yale. But they've had it. But has something now just been discovered in it? That's a question we don't know. There will be other discoveries, I'm sure. But certainly, it's one to watch. The Voynich Manuscripts. Secrets are being revealed. Mysteries are being unraveled. And the prophetic narrative of the end time, they're on us right now. We're living in them right now. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. I got a live show today at 12 noon Eastern. And I'll be live again tonight uh, at 10 p.m. Uh, following the State of the Union address that President Donald Trump will deliver in Washington. God bless.